Hello, I'm Simon Clark, and I'm here in Sintra, Portugal, with the European Central Bank at the Forum on Central Banking. And I'm joined by Michelle Gassibe, who is one of the joint winners of the Young Economist Poster Competition. Who, and it's the first time that prize has been shared between you people, you and Nuno Clara. Michelle, how are you feeling? Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thanks how a are lot. you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling all right. Uh, it's been a tough couple of days, but I think I really enjoyed my time here. Mm -hmm. A lot of great people, a lot of great discussions. So I'm yeah, very, really happy. I'm really happy. Yeah, well, I can imagine. I mean, well, can you explain in lay terms what did you present here? What was on your poster? Yes, yeah, so it was my uh, first paper. It's about the link between monetary policy and uh, supply chains. So trying to understand how firms are interlinked with each other uh, and how that interlinkage helps us understand monetary policy. Okay, I mean, and why do you think it's important that people understand this? What is important about your field? You know, why should people care? Uh, because I think it's something quite realistic for once. Uh, it's a very realistic feature of a lot of modern economies that banks, uh, companies are interlinked by all sorts of uh, means. Uh, and incorporating that empirically relevant feature into a model helps us understand something that is also realistic, namely monetary policy. And this affects people's lives in a daily way. It's not just something that is, you know, is an abstract concept. I mean, how is this going to affect people's everyday existence? Uh, to the extent to which monetary policy affects their existence. So when you think about your bank account, your savings, your pensions, your retirement plans, all of that is affected by monetary policy. And to understand how effective it is exactly, we should understand what are the channels of its transmission. And thinking about interlinkages is an important aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you've said that you've enjoyed the conference so far. I mean, what have you taken away from the experience of being here? There's still a lot to learn beyond, beyond my poster. Uh, and there'll be you know, a big step between uh, academic economics, academic thinking, uh, and real life policy, real life decisions that are way, way, way more complicated than solving a model, mm -hmm. even a difficult one. Okay, and then is there anything that you'd like to say to economics PhD students out there? And obviously this is, must be a pretty high point in the PhD. Um, what would you say to someone maybe who's just starting out in the field? Uh, it gets better. <laughs> then it gets worse, then it gets better again. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That was all we had time for. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for joining us on social media. You can read all the papers which were submitted to this competition on the ECB website. Thanks a lot, Simon.